Imagine a lifetime spent waiting. Waiting for a family. Waiting to be loved. My name is Tyneek. If you're not already subscribed to this channel, you have no clue what you're missing out on. Hit that subscribe button and join PD Nation. Get into the flow this month of October. Psalms 110 resting over this house. Sit on my right hand until I make your enemies your footstool. Do you not see the Lord just crowning your enemies up under your foot and you're just tuning to exalt, be exalted by him? And Jesus came, yes. Are you exalting over coming overcoming those emotions those feelings for years that anger that frustration and now you're just like you know what it's all good well that is god exalting you that is god putting you on a pedestal that is god shutting your enemies down sit in my right hand until i make all of your enemies your plus two we're overcomers this month in october so happy to have you here all my returning subscribers i love you guys i have um a word for you guys and it's going to be in esther 7 and it says the queen answered if I have found favor with you, your majesty, and if it pleases you, grant me my life. This is my petition. And spare my people. This is my request. For I, my people, have been sold to be destroyed, killed, and annihilated. If, my, if we had merely been sold as slaves, I would have kept quiet because no such distress would justify disturbing the king. King Xerxes answered Queen Esther, Who is he? Where is he? The man who has dared to do such a thing. So now we see Queen Esther going to her man and letting her know, Listen, babe, there's some things going on in a kingdom you don't know about and it's affecting me and my people. And we see Xerxes making her a priority making her needs a priority, willing to give her up to half of the kingdom and anything else that she wants. She becomes a priority in spite of his relation spite of his relationship with Haman, his homeboy that he'd been hanging out with. In spite of when anyone else in the kingdom has to say, Esther becomes a priority. Now we remember when she stuck her head out there and he, re he released a scepter to save her. But here he is making her a priority. And she said, Esther answered, an adversary, an enemy, Haman. Then Haman was terrified before the king and the queen. The king got up in rage and he left. But when he came back, he realized, um, uh, he saw that Haman was um, all over Esther blaming, uh, you know, begging. And he said, you know what? And his boys came and he took him out, took Haman out, and they hung him on the same gallow that he had put up for, for Mordecai. What am I saying? Not only am I saying in these kingdom marriage or just in your everyday life, that God is making you a priority. Your spouse is going to make you a priority. The things that used to be important to them just aren't important anymore. That one friend that they always hung out with that was a bad influence doesn't even matter anymore. Their wants, their needs, and I don't need no woman, I don't need no man, I just want to be single, leave me alone mentality. No, you will become a, a priority. Why? Because they're seeing, you know what? Esther is valuable to my kingdom. This woman is valuable to my kingdom, to my children, to my future, to my life. You are becoming a priority. You are becoming a priority. And that same gallow that your enemies meant for your kingdom marriage, they're going to hang on. That same gallow, those lies, and they try to tell you this, when you've just been a good person trying to help, they made you everything, and what called you every name, but what you truly were, because they wanted to stay stuck in their ways and not take the next steps and not step off the porch. But God says, guess what? You're Xerxes priority now. And Xerxes holds all authority in his hand. And you and you and him are going to run off. And it's going to be like, hey, man, never, ever happened. The Lord is to me today. The enemies you see today, you shall see no more. It's going to be like, hey, man, never existed. Like, y'all ain't never have no haters. That is all. But it's going to be like, can never, ever happen. Okay, family, if you feel led to support this channel, hashtag like it never ever happen. Hashtag I'm a priority in Jesus name. Okay, these men are kicking down doors to get back to you. These women are giving it up, letting go all a little bit of pride and they sassiness and ready to submit. 
All right, I'll talk to you guys soon. Sign up for that one-on-one -on -one encouragement call. Everything you need to know. Our new subscribers is down in the description box, keywinassist.com, to book that one-on-one. -on -one. Talk to you guys soon. Bye-bye. Perfect.